Heather with Create Again. Um, today, in this one video, I'm going to show you how I do pull string angel wings. Instead of just doing one feather, we're going to do a whole set of wings. So, I'll, I'll show you these. I did these in a navy blue and a magenta and a little bit of silver. I gotta go and touch up a couple of little spots, um, but that's those, which are very beautiful. Now, today I'm gonna do a um, pair of angel wings that are green and this kind of peachy coral color. So, for this, you have to work pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to get it all set up and then uh, we'll be back and I'll start filming. Okay, so I poured my paint and it's starting to look a little muddy. I mean, I knew these colors all, um, aren't their contrast colors, but I think I poured it a little too early while I'm cutting my strings. So we'll see. I'll, I'll do a test of one. If not, I'll just wipe it up and pour new. So I'm cutting about about 50 strings because um, <clears throat> I had about anywhere from 12 to 13 feathers on each and last time I ran out <clears throat> so I'm cutting double this time because you want to use one string per side of the feather because otherwise it gets pretty uh, muddy or can't see a distinct uh, color variation between the two. They're about, they're about a foot long and I'm just using yarn. So I want to have more than I really need because once you have to stop and take your gloves off because I use gloves because you're going to get this everywhere. And to recut strings, it's, you know, your this piece dries very quickly because you don't want a lot of paint sitting on top. You want a very thin layer. So I put a thin layer on it all, but it dries pretty quickly. So Pretty much under each pool, I'll put a little bit more paint. And you don't want a lot of paint either because then you have all this buildup of excess once you go to pull. So when you do this, you only want to pull up a few at a time and try to lay them as flat as possible. Um, I take one per color. I'm going to put a little bit more. Alright, I'm going to get a few more. And then the trick is, is, is I'm not trying to spend all my time making it all flat. I'm just putting a big bunch of them in there. However, when you go to pull it up, if you don't hold the rest of them down and pull one up at a time, uh, you will have it... Uh, they will all get tangled up and start pulling up through your paint. You don't want that. So as far as the where to place them down, you just kind of, I've done so many wings that I just kind of know the gist, you know, of how they're, they're shaped and formed and how I want them. But you can take little markers. I've done tiny little dots on where I don't want really the the pools to go past. So I've got like here will be the the arc, or sorry, the the tail down here at the bottom because they're going to be arcing around. And then I got a couple of dots around the edges where I really don't want them to pull up from or go past. So again, you have to work really quickly. I'm going to get my gloves on. I'm going to do a small coat of white in here and I'm not trying to get it on everything I just want it to be a little coated and then I'm gonna go back under each pool and put a little bit more and you'll see so it's kind of gonna they're kind of gonna like this okay all right let's get started Put my 
gloves on and get a little messy. It's not terrible, but it just makes it so you're not worried about it transferring over onto something else and then you can wipe your glove off quick. All right, so I think I'm going to start um, just right at the top and then work my way down. So again, remember, hold these down when you pull one up. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna kinda make my top round part. All right, I'll let that sit for just a sec. And then really, it just, I think I'm gonna have them go back this way. Okay, that didn't turn out perfect, but that's okay. So in my ones I just, I'm done with, I'm just gonna toss down there. I don't want this to get on my bottles. I wanted to accidentally stick to them and pull it up really fast. So what I do to one side, I do to the other. So they're more uniform. Alright. Let's go this way with it. Probably a little bit more paint in there. I just got the, the arch, that's good. And sometimes I will use this over, just depends. Um, I thought I was actually going to run another one on top of it, and I actually still might, but I'm going to wait. Just build the back. go with let's see I'll lay it back on that kind of is looking like a candy cane <laughs> And just maybe because I'm just starting. Hopefully, it's not gonna look like that. Might need to put a third color in there. I'll we'll see. I don't know, sometimes I like to do the edge just to get them my shape done. So I think I'm going to continue with that. But this time I'm going to put it over a little bit. And that other so I can have the feathers feather out and not all in.
I went this dropped off. I'm sorry. But here I am in the final funnel of it. And it's not exactly what I had envisioned. Um just because it's the color, I think. I think the pattern itself is not terrible. A couple little things in there I want to try to fix. I think I'm just going to do a small little. So these DL DSLRs aren't made, I think, for videoing in a long time. At least mine isn't, because it gets hot and turns off. It's a little old too. Um, but anyway, here is the final um, angel wings out of the feathers. Uh, this one is the like a peachy coral and a just like almost a forest green, a little bit lighter. And I'll bring you in for a little close up. Maybe I'll try to do this on my cell phone, but um, start recording on my cell phone. I should, but it just, uh, I don't have anywhere to set it up. And I've already, I invested a lot, not a lot, a lot, but a lot of time and effort in this little way I set things up. So, anywho, hope you like. <laughs>